If your male cat sleeps with you at night, ignoring every other comfortable spot in your home, he isn't just seeking warmth. He's initiating a complex biological process that affects both your brains. Most owners think this is just cute behavior or simple affection. They are wrong. When a male cat enters your bedroom and claims his spot on your duvet, he is actively including you in his inner circle and designating you as his primary safe zone. But biologically, he is doing something much more profound. He is engaging in a deep form of stress regulation. He is lowering his vigilance levels to match your circadian rhythm. In this video, we are decoding the evolutionary science behind why your male cat sleeps with you. We will explain the guardian distance phenomenon, the truth about how he uses your sleep state to regulate his own, and the deep emotional attachment that forms when you share a bed. And stay tuned for number five, because the specific position he chooses on the mattress is actually a tactical decision that reveals whether he sees you as his parent or his property. Let's unlock the code. Point one, the core territory. To understand the magnitude of this compliment, you have to understand the male cat's brain architecture regarding territory. Male cats are wired differently than females. In the wild, a male's territory is vastly larger, often 10 times the size of a female's. He is biologically programmed to patrol, secure, and defend. His world is divided into concentric rings, the peripheral zone where he hunts, the neutral zone where he might tolerate others, and the core territory. The core territory is sacred. It is where he is most vulnerable. In nature, a male cat never sleeps deeply outside this zone because doing so is a death sentence. When your male cat sleeps with you, he isn't just sharing space. He has fundamentally remapped his geography. He has designated your body as the center of his core territory. This is significant because male cats are naturally prone to resource guarding. Usually they guard food or high vantage points. By sleeping on you, he is treating you as the ultimate resource, more valuable than food. He is engaging in social buffering. This is a scientific term where the presence of a bonded partner physically lowers the stress response. However, this territorial bond comes with a catch. Because he views the bed as the core, he becomes hyper-aware of intrusions. This explains why he might act grumpy or push other pets away specifically at bedtime. He isn't being mean. He is securing the perimeter of his most valuable asset, you. But securing the space is only the first step. Once he settles in, a remarkable psychological shift begins to happen inside his mind. Point two, co-regulation of stress. This is where the science gets fascinating. The competitor mentioned that cats can hear your heartbeat. That is true, but the real phenomenon is called co-regulation. When your male cat presses his spine against your side or curls up on your chest, he is utilizing his mechanoreceptors, highly sensitive nerve endings in his skin, to detect your physical state. Research into mammalian bonding suggests that animals use the calm state of a trusted partner to regulate their own nervous system. Your male cat is literally using your body as a biological anchor. Why does he do this? It's an evolutionary survival hack. In a social group, the most stable individual sets the tone. By feeling your steady breathing and lack of tension, your cat is outsourcing his stress regulation to you. If you are calm and sleeping deeply, he knows he is safe to lower his defenses. This creates a positive feedback loop. If you are calm, he can finally enter REM sleep, the deep restorative sleep where the brain detoxifies and processes memories. Sleeping with you acts as a natural anti-anxiety mechanism. He is relying on your calmness to switch off his predator instincts. This explains why, if you have a restless night or are sick or stressed, your cat might wake up, pace, or leave the room. You are no longer a stable anchor, and his anxiety spikes in response. But how does he know when you are stressed before you even do? It's because of the schedule he has memorized. A schedule so precise it's almost scary. Point three, predictive coding. Your male cat doesn't just know it's bedtime. He has built a complex mental model of your entire existence. Neuroscientists call this predictive coding. The brain is constantly trying to predict what happens next to save energy. Male cats are masters of this. They don't just track time, they track pre-sleep rituals. He knows the specific sound of the toothpaste cap screwing back on, 
He knows the change in light intensity when you switch from the overhead light to the bedside lamp. He knows the vibration of your phone hitting the nightstand. Each of these micro cues releases a hit of dopamine in his brain because it signals the safe time is coming. Researchers using home cameras have observed male cats positioning themselves on the bed up to 20 minutes before the owner even enters the room. They aren't guessing. They have calculated your arrival based on the sequence of noises downstairs. This goes beyond affection. In the wild, predictability equals survival. By memorizing your routine, he reduces his cognitive load. He doesn't have to worry about where you are or what you are doing. He knows. This is also why male cats often become bedtime enforcers. If you stay up late working or watching TV, you might see him pacing, staring at you, or meowing. He isn't just annoyed. He is biologically confused. You are breaking the predictive pattern, and that induces micro-stress in his system. He is trying to herd you back to the core territory so he can initiate the rest process. But once you are finally in bed, the specific spot he chooses is not random. It is a tactical decision based on threat assessment. Point four, the vantage point strategy. Watch where your male cat lands. This is the body language of sleep, and it reveals how he views his role in your relationship. Unlike dogs, who often sleep wherever there is space, a male cat's position is calculated based on defense and bonding. If he sleeps above your head or on your pillow, he is claiming the alpha position. In feline hierarchy, height is status. But biologically, this is also about heat conservation and scent. He is bathing in your sebaceous gland secretions from your scalp. He is claiming you. This cat sees you as his possession. Then there is the chest sleeper. This is the vulnerability exchange. By sleeping on your core, he is exposing his own spine to the room while protecting your vital organs. This is a behavior often seen in kittens with their mothers. If an adult male cat does this, he is reverting to a state of total kitten-like trust. He views you as his parent figure. Finally, the foot of the bed. This is the most common position for independent male cats. Behaviorists call this guardian distance. He is close enough to feel your movement, but far enough away to react instantly to an intruder coming through the door. He is placing himself between you and the potential exit. He is literally your shield. If you notice he sleeps facing the door while his back touches your foot, that is the ultimate sentry mode. He is watching the perimeter so you don't have to. However, even if he seems dead asleep at your feet, his brain is doing something human brains cannot do. Point 5. Unihemispheric Vigilance This is the hidden behavior that makes cats such incredible nocturnal companions. Humans sleep in cycles where the whole brain shuts down. Cats have the ability to engage in complex sleep cycles where they remain in a state of low-level alert. While your male cat is sleeping next to you, he is running security protocols all night long. Using infrared technology, sleep studies have shown that cats micro-wake dozens of times per night. During these 15-second intervals, his ears rotate like radar dishes to triangulate sounds. His nose samples the air for pheromones of distress or intrusion. When he sleeps with you, he modulates this sensitivity based on your sleep. If you are sleeping soundly, he lowers his guard. If you are tossing, turning, or having a nightmare, your cat's vigilance spikes. Have you ever woken up from a bad dream to find your cat staring at you or pawing at your face? He didn't just happen to be awake. He detected a change in your behavior or breathing and woke up to investigate the threat. He is effectively checking on you. This vigilance is expensive energetically. The fact that he spends his energy monitoring your safety instead of just his own is a testament to the depth of the bond. He is sacrificing his own deep sleep to ensure the colony leader is okay. But there is a chemical side effect to all this closeness, an emotional bond that makes separation difficult. Point six, the oxytocin bond. This is the emotional connection the competitor hinted at but let's look at the science of attachment. Regular co-sleeping creates a profound, secure attachment. When you sleep together, the sustained physical contact releases a steady drip of oxytocin in both brains. This is the love hormone responsible for social bonding. Over months and years, this reinforces the neural pathways that identify you as family. 
When you go on vacation or shut him out of the bedroom, his routine is shattered. His cortisol, the stress hormone, spikes. This suppresses his immune system, making him more susceptible to illness like cystitis or upper respiratory infections. We often see male cats get sick shortly after their owners leave or change their sleeping arrangements. It's not just sadness. It's a physiological response to stress. Studies suggest that it takes time for a co-sleeping cat's stress levels to normalize after separation. This bond works both ways. Your brain has also learned to associate the specific frequency of his purr with safety. His purr vibrates at a frequency that promotes relaxation and lowers blood pressure. You are actively soothing each other every night. So the next time you complain about him taking up too much space or waking you up at 3 a.m., remember, this is a biological contract. He has tied his sense of safety to yours. Conclusion, the biological anchor. When your male cat chooses your bed, he's not just curling up to sleep. He's synchronizing his heartbeat with yours, guarding what he considers the safest territory in the world and chemically bonding with you in a way that rewires both your brains. You're not just a warm spot. You're his biological anchor in a chaotic world. But here's something that most cat parents don't realize. This deep connection doesn't stop when the sun rises. It continues in every conversation you have with him through your voice, your tone, your words. During the day, your cat is constantly listening, and not just passively. His brain is actively decoding your emotions, recognizing your voice among thousands, and remembering the most meaningful things you say. The way you talk to your cat, how you ask questions, how you greet him, how you speak in the kitchen, literally changes his brain chemistry. And yet over 90% of owners misread or ignore the powerful responses their cats give back. If you want to understand what's really happening in your cat's brain when you speak to him, how your voice becomes medicine, bonding, and emotional memory, you need to see this next video. Click here to discover the 10 extraordinary things your cat understands when you talk and how every conversation shapes your relationship forever. You'll never speak to your cat the same way again.